Bitcoin has seen more volatility today. This seems to be an ongoing issue with BTC as people try to figure out whether the price should be moving up or should be moving down. We have a lot of leverage positions both in short and in long and liquidations going on both sides of the field. In this particular video we're going to be jumping down into the technical analysis of BTC to see what I think is likely to go on and happen next and all that wonderful stuff. As I get into the video if you find it useful and informative you know what to do smash that like button I do appreciate that if you are new to the channel go ahead and subscribe I don't think you'll regret staying informed with absolutely everything that we do here at Cheeky Crypto and on that note don't forget that Discord is our centralized hub of Cheeky Crypto we actually cover a lot more than in a Discord server so link to that in the description below do go ahead and check it out it's completely free let's get into this then Bitcoin paired up with USDT on the hourly chart Binance is the data source now following on from this Twitch stream that we did this morning uh, we can see that we experienced some volatility to the downside over here now this would have been driven from a couple of different things uh, one we were seeing a lot of uh, leverage positions go long Okay, and this is actually saved from when we were looking at it this morning. 63% of people were going long. And uh, so you start to see the price move to the downside. And if I aggregate this up into the last one hour, we can see that things shifted now to the downside. People are expecting uh, the price to uh, to go down. So they were shorting it. The majority were short. And obviously, as we start to think about that, the price moves back up in, in this particular range. So liquidations on both sides here. Uh, the markets are incredibly volatile. And, uh, you, you know, it's just one of those things where uh, you can't can't rely uh, that these market makers are not going to uh, to squeeze what they can. With that being said, you can see this wick up here is perfect on our fifth wave expectations. So if I pull and draw this in, we can see this is one, two, three, down here for four, up here for five. This is exactly where you'd expect it to be, uh, right between the 1.236 and the one point. Uh, 618 and you can see that the first wick just came up into this range here before coming back down and then the second one right up there you can see now we're starting to pull back down now with this being said this particular area uh, up here can be incomplete we would expect three waves to the downside to finish it off now because we've gone up in five my expectations here are that you go down in three and up more in five more waves right so my expectation is that we end up going down in three to only go back up in five okay and it's going to be a giant um I mean, it's possible that it's uh, it's in regular flat. It's possible that it's actually in regular flat, yeah. That's a possibility, but however, I think it's actually more suited to a zigzag pattern, which would be five up, three down, five up, in my opinion. And uh, so looking at this, I would expect us to retest this low area here, this previous area of demand, as you can kind of see the consolidation previously. We came right back down in here. There's a lot of buying pressure here, like the same as there's a loads of selling pressure here. If I actually remove this yellow box that I drew on, this yellow box right up here is the area of supply. This is where the supply is flooding the market, dragging the price down, and down here is where the demand floods the market, soaking up any additional supply that is there. So we're kind of sound finding ourselves stuck in a rut here. It's kind of sideways trading, if you will. And um, but very, very predictably, we'll end up moving back down. Now our stochastic RSIs are very much aligned to this idea as well. As we can see, the stochastic RSI, which is our momentum indicator, is up there on the overbought area on this one hour chart. You can also see this on the four hour chart with our little uh, multi time frame stochastic RSI indicator. We're overbought not only on the one hour, but also the four hour and last time I checked I think the eight hour was progressing nicely yeah so you can see we've got a really good move up on that eight hour stochastic RSI as well if we come to the daily you can see that we've got progression to the downside we've got a long way to go yet though and the same with the weekly loads of room to the downside here not a lot to the upside on those macro time frames so I do think we're going to correct down in three and then I think we're going to go back up in five and I think we're going to be testing this higher range somewhere around that 21k it seems to be the most logical area Every time we talk about it, it always seems to be coming up. This high area that we've only tested in this brief time period on the 29th of October, we haven't come back in to confirm this as our new major su uh, supply zone. Okay, so I think that we're going to move down in three retest this low area down here somewhere uh, ideally between 20,330 through to about $20,400 uh, and then I think we're going to be moving up in five to finish off our zigzag pattern taking us up into that supply zone and get rejected from there and when we do this I would estimate that we are probably going to be in a really overbought position on the daily uh, the weekly the eight hourly four hourly 
and who knows about the hourly that one could be fluctuating around a little bit but essentially a lot of those macro time frames i think are going to be lining us up for a big nosedive in the price of btc and now i don't think that this is something that is you know isolated to bitcoin either i think actually realistically speaking and you know being brutally honest with everyone here it's really what is going to be driving the dxy to the upside okay so bitcoin's pushed up the way that it has only because the dxy dropped down the way that it did okay and we are expecting a dxy to pump up not drop down so when we start thinking about where the dxy is on its weekly chart versus where bitcoin is on its weekly chart i think it's obvious that we are going to see some huge volatility on pretty much most um, you know, asset classes, crypto being one of them, I think we're going to see huge pull to the downside as this DXY pumps up hard and really crashes the rest of the markets. I think this is one of the reasons that we are not seeing so many of those whale wallets really soaking up any supply. They're actually dumping, they're actually kind of exiting out of the space because the dollar index is primed for a big move upwards, which we're going to start to see the fallout of, I believe, in due course. And this is going to potentially mean that yes, Bitcoin may go down down into new lower lows, an unpopular opinion among many who believe that the Bitcoin bottom is already in. I don't believe that and don't believe that that is going to be the case until we actually see the big money flowing back into the space, buying cheap Bitcoin from the retail investors, which we talk about on the streams every single day. So for now, Bitcoin does not seem to be gearing up for a bull run. We have no trend based structures according to Elliott Way theory. And I will address one additional thing that our many other influencers out there that try to use Elliott Way theory. And um, from the ones that I have seen, they do not apply the rules correctly. So just be really, really cautious with where you're getting your TA from. But do bear in mind that I am not a financial advisor. I cannot give you financial advice. All I can do is give you my thoughts and opinions on the data as I see it. Now, Elliott Way Theory, I'm running a course on it. Uh, currently, it's going to be free for all Patreon members. So check that out. Um, but essentially, I'm going to go through the actual rules uh, with Elliott Way Theory. So you know exactly what you be looking out for, what... Uh, wave counts would be invalidate, what would create invalidations, what are correct wave counts, what are not correct wave counts, and therefore you'll be able to pick up on people who are just trying to make a narrative out of something uh, when it might not be there. There are some very specific rules, there are some very specific Fibonacci based numbers that are associated to each of the waves and you have to apply the rules. If you do not apply the rules, your waves are going to be off. Okay, so I'll leave it there that's going to be something that's going to be in a discord server available for our patreon members so check that out if that's of interest to you um, but essentially here my expectations are that bitcoin's going to go down dxy is going to go up then dxy is going to go down bitcoin's going to fly up in an additional five ways and then we're going to see a nosedive as the dxy goes on a mega pump to the upside dragging pretty much most cryptocurrency assets down into the ground but that's my thoughts and opinions. Let me know yours in the comments down below, and I'm going to leave this video right there. If you found it useful and informative, smash that like button. I do appreciate that. If you are new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe, tap the bell, select all the notifications, and in doing so, you will stay up to date with absolutely everything that we do here at Cheeky Crypto. Guys, until the next one, have a fantastic day.